I woke up the next morning with my head bandaged and surrounded by the three old people. Where am I? I asked. I seem to remember you, and yet I cannot remember who you are. They told me then, and I heard of the haunted red room. We found you at dawn, said he, and there was blood on your forehead and lips. Soon I remembered. You believe now, said the old man, that the room is haunted? Yes, said I, the room is haunted. Tell us who the ghost is. Is it the earl or the countess? No, said I, it is not. There is neither the ghost of the earl nor the ghost of the countess in that room. There is no ghost there at all, but worse, far worse. The worst of all the things that haunt poor mortal man, said I, and that is fear. It is the fear itself that is beyond any reason and understanding. It is fear that haunts the imagination of men and increases the awareness of even the simplest things. I stopped abruptly. There was an interval of silence. It is the fear that follows you through the corridor so that you dare not turn. It fought against me in the room. There is fear in that room. Plain black fear, I finished.